All right, now we're going to state and work with the quotient rule for derivatives. And as you could probably guess from the last video, the derivative of the quotient of two functions is not equal to the quotient of the derivatives. So you can't take the derivative of the top and then divide it by the derivative of the bottom. Those are not equivalent, and we will see that in an example in just a minute. So let me state what the quotient rule is. So the derivative of the quotient f of g over g of, I'm sorry, f of x over g of x is equal to the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top function times the derivative of the bottom function all over the bottom function squared. So let me restate that. The derivative of the top times the bottom minus the derivative, I'm sorry, the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom squared. And unlike with the product rule where it didn't matter which derivative you take first, in this case it does because if you go in the wrong order, you're going to be, you're going to differ by a sign. All right, let's look at an example to see why this is not true. Okay, so let's start with something very basic f of x equals 8x cubed over 4x. Now, if we mistakenly believed that its derivative was equal to the derivative of the top over the derivative of the bottom, then we would conclude that this derivative was actually 6x squared. Bad math. Let's see, let's apply something we already know so that we can figure out exactly what the derivative is. If I were to simplify this, 8 goes into 4 twice, this becomes x squared, and so 8x cubed over 4x is really 2x squared. And what I do know is its derivative is, by the product rule, 2 times 2, or 4x. And those two are clearly not always equal. <clears throat> okay, so don't make the mistake of taking the derivative of the top over the derivative of the bottom. All right, so let's look at another example. Okay. Now in this case, we can't simplify this like we did in the original problem, so we're going to need to do the, the quotient rule. So let's see if we remember our rules. All right, so it's going to be the derivative of the top function, which is 4x minus 2 times the bottom function, x minus 2, minus the top function, 2x squared minus 2x plus 3, times the derivative of the bottom function, which is just 1. And all of that is over the bottom function squared. Okay, you can ex uh, multiply this out, distribute this negative, and combine like terms to further simplify, but this is also a sufficient answer. Now, be very careful when you're taking derivatives on this right side over here is to keep everything in parentheses because that negative will distribute to everything over here. And so you need to keep parentheses here so you don't only negate the first term. Okay? 